Hello friends! Today we are talking about thinking outside the box and behind me here I have this brand new couch for my office and I, when I bought it I knew I was up against a challenge that I was going to have to think outside of the box to solve which was I have a little fur baby and mama did not do a good job of creating rules and so she was allowed on every piece of furniture her entire existence and now at 10 years old I was faced with this opportunity for a challenge to figure out how to get my little fur baby not to jump on the couch and of course uh the first place that my brain went, I think this is where a lot of our brains go, is how can I create rigid rules and systems and tell her no and really get the idea across, she's not allowed on this couch. And the more I thought about it and, and the more I soul stormed with some high vibe soul sisters, it really became apparent to think outside the box and create, why not create, a little goddess lounge for her for herself. So what I've noticed is, is now she's not as inclined to get on my goddess couch because she has her very own little goddess corner. I really went out of the way to make sure that she has the comforts and the joy and the relaxation and all of the soft materials that I had in mind and even some sparkle. And what I've noticed is she's even been really appreciative. She looks like she's smiling more, she looks more excited, and she actually hangs out with me. So went all around and she hasn't gotten up on the couch since. So the next time you have a challenge, instead of thinking about how to create rigidity and rules and almost like a negative reinforcement, what if you started to create a, a way to positively reinforce the new change that you want, whether it's for yourself or for others? So anyways, give it a try, see what happens. I'm excited to have an awesome day. Bye.